Hey guys, Brent Hall Build Show, travel channel for master builders, okay? This is the place to go to get inspired. And if you're looking for traditional details, there's no better place to go than Winter Tour. And so today we're gonna look at Winter Tour. Come join me. Okay, so what is Winter Tour? Winter Tour is Henry DuPont's home, okay? It was a family home. He inherited it from his dad and started with this pretty simple house. It grew and grew and grew as he collected. So in the 1920s, he fell in love with American antiques and American details, American rooms, American furniture, American paraphernalia, okay? And so he began to collect, okay? And obviously one of the richest men in America, he could afford a great deal. And so not only would buy a Philadelphia high boy, okay? He'd find a room in Philadelphia from the same period period and that was being torn down he would buy the room then he would take the room put it into his house install the furniture and go this is the Philadelphia parlor or whatever he would call it and so there's 175 okay at winter tour filled with furniture and antiques and all kinds of crazy different stuff there's rooms from 1640 to 1860 okay 1640 to 1860, 175 rooms. There's everything. It's a cross section of America and a crisscross and a crisscross of cross section because there's New Hampshire taverns, there's Philadelphia mansions, things from Connecticut, things from Georgia, things from all over the original 13 colonies that express architecture in different ways. So if you want to see what was being built, hey, I want a Georgian room, I can show you 50 Georgian rooms, right? And high style and low style and simple and ornate and so all kinds of crazy stuff. So you're going to walk around this place and it's going to be overwhelming because there's just so much to see. I've been there probably 20, 30 times, maybe more than that. And each time I go, it, it's, it, I, I learn more, I figure out more, and, and I see more. So go prepare to be overwhelmed. I think it's a two-day trip, okay? Here's why I want you to travel, okay? I want you to travel because I think we keep using the same playbook, okay? I think we've got three pages in our playbook of this is what a stair looks like, this is what a pediment looks like, this is what a molding looks like, okay? And I've got a book that is about this wide and it has, you know, 10,000 pages in it. Now, those 10,000 pages are things from the past where you learn from. So a stair is not a stair, okay? It can be all kinds of different things if you understand the historic precedent. So going to Winter Tour is an opportunity for you to learn and grow. Now, if you're a designer watching this, I mean, the fabrics they've got there are just unbelievable. The curtains, the colors, the things that he would do, Henry DuPont would change out the colors based on the, the season and the flowers that would be in the room would match the drapes, would go with the outside. I mean, it's, it's unbelievable. But there's uh, five rooms I want you to check out. Cecil bedroom is number one. Cecil bedroom is the DuPont's bedroom, okay? An amazing fire face, full panel Georgian wall, blection molding with no mantle over the mantle. But look at the pilasters, look at the colors, look at the symmetry in that room on that fireplace wall. Really cool. Notice how the panels sit on the face of that wall. They're not inset, they're actually raised on top. The very unique detail. Cecil bedroom, that was DuPont's bedroom. Very special, very cool. That's one of my favorite rooms. Second room is across the hall is the Hampton bedroom. The Hampton is, is actually a, a room that we've actually reproduced a couple times. It's really a beautiful room, amazing symmetry. Look at the carving, look how many, look at the headers over top of the two doorways and the mantle. Check those out. They've got a pulvinated frieze in there. They've got dental. It's a beautifully composed room and something that still works today. One of the things I've been surprised about is how well traditional rooms will fit into a modern space and will change the complexion, change the way it feels. And if you wanna do some cool interiors on your houses, this is a great place to start. Number three is Penny Packer, okay? Penny Packer, I believe is from Connecticut, but it's this funky, quirky, federal country, little room that you're gonna, it's actually through a hallway, but they've got a built-in china cabinet, they've got a fireplace there, and it's all this chip carving. So there's there's reading in the panels, there's reading in the, in the, in the fireplace, and look at that detail closely. How would you reproduce that today? How would you get a knife to cut that? How did they chip carve and, and, and create this movement on this very simple detail? It's one of my favorite rooms at Winter Tour, and it is awesome. You know, I've tried to reproduce that in a mantle that we built, I've tried to do it a few times, but I never, capture the magic so there's a lot of 
stuff in that room that is actually hard to reproduce. Very cool room, check that out. So there's a there's a few federal rooms that are really some of my favorite, either Baltimore drawing room or the China closet. The way that they surround this door frame with these implied pilasters, the mantle's gorgeous in the Baltimore drawing room, the way the moldings change around windows and doors, the two doorways in there are some of the best doorways I think at Winter Tour. And they're, they're really cool. The way they've got the casing, there's the gouge carved in the casing, and then there's an ionic pilaster that sits on the outside and a beautiful header. Really complex details. Really something that, you know, I'm waiting for our next traditional house. I'm going to try to put it in there. But it's one of my favorite doorways at Winter Tour. So go check out the Baltimore drawing room. As far as the federal room goes, that's about as good as you get. The last room is, is McIntyre, okay? And Samuel McIntyre is one of my heroes. He's a master builder. And it has a bunch of McIntyre's furniture in there. That's the reason it's called the McIntyre room. But there's also a bunch of compo moldings on the wall and compo moldings around the fireplace. Compo moldings is that molding that was made with glue and animal hide and, and molasses and was put into the mold and then it was heated and put on. It was, it was an applied composition that was very popular in the early 1800s during that federal period with urns and swags and things they were copying from Pompeii. But the, the McIntyre room, you know, celebrates my master builder hero, Samuel McIntyre, and really shows off some amazing furniture along with some amazing molding details. So there's your five rooms. Go check those things out. Winter Tour is an amazing place. You got two days there. Kids most likely will join. There's a ton of follies there. They've got huge grounds. They've got flowers always blooming throughout that time. So there's tons of areas to walk around. His gardens, you'll see, you know, his greenhouses and where they are just below the house between that and the visitor center. It's just an amazing place. And so the kids will have fun. You'll get amazed. You'll have great inspiration. Go on this architectural tour. You're going to learn so much all at Winter Tour.